Good morning, everybody, and good afternoon to all of you. And if you are in China or in Taiwan or Hong Kong, it's early, early morning. Good morning. My name is Hung Shur. Today is Saturday, September 9th, here in the Gold Coast of Queensland. And it is Friday, September 8th in California. All of you who are joining in from thereabouts, welcome. Glad you're here. And let's get started. Here is our Dharma request. And today we have, oops, try that again. Today we have Vera from Sao Paulo, Brazil, as our Dharma requester. There we go, that's what we want. So, uh, let's see now. Oh, I need to go get my bell. Let me get the bell. Don't go away. Hold on. faithful bell. I'm going to ring it three times and invite you all to join me in making <coughs> three half bows to the Buddha from where you're sitting. Here we go. Ready? First bow. And then the second bow. And a third bow. Vera, if you would like to make the Dharma request, please do so now. Chin-cham-yao-fa-luan-jau-da-wo-ma-ru-ho-liao-shan-tuo-si-li-hu-da-la-su-jau-shau. the Sangha with great virtue out of compassion for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach us how to live suffering and attain bliss and then birth and death and quickly realize no birth. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Namo sadanto suchedo ye ola hudi san miao san buto she. Namo sadanto suchedo ye ola hudi san miao san buto she. Wu shang shen chen wei miao fa. Bai qian wan she nan sao yi. Wo jin jian wan de shou chi. Lian qi ru lai zhen shi yi. Supreme and wondrous dharma, subtle and profound. Rarely is encountered, even in billions of eons. But now we see and hear it and accept it reverently. May we truly understand the Buddha's actual meaning. Alrighty, Vera, thank you so much. Appreciate the Dharma request all the way from Sao Paulo. And uh, I wanted to make sure, I want to ask everybody how, okay, my, ask my question. Is my voice louder now? My question was, how is my sound? Because I'm back to a new microphone setup, and I want that louder. Okay, better. Okay, good. I just slid the slider up on my panel here. Good. 
Okay, and I want to be sure, because I have some choices in terms of how I set up my uh, the broadcast towers here at 102 Benogan Road, which is actually just my desk and a microphone. So, we aim high. So, louder than the beginning. Okay, and is it loud enough? Because I can make it louder. What do you think? Uh, and also, we need... I've got my original sound on, and it has to be good enough for music as well. Can you hear a high sound? Can you hear the bell when I ring it right now? Yes, okay, good. We're doing well. So I'm here in the Gold Coast of Queensland. I will be here for a few months ahead, uh, certainly, uh, and need to get all the parameters set up for um, excellent audio. This series is audio only. It's more or less radio. In the old days, we would call it radio. Now it's called podcasts mm, because of iPods and such. But it's a radio broadcast. That is to say, you can, you don't have to look at the screen. Um, if you would like to look at the screen, um, it enhances the experience, but we are essentially audio only. The screen carries the text so that you can, we can all be on the same page, literally, and we can also um, benefit from learning new things that come in through the eyes. But this is essentially an ear medium lecture series. The old days, I'm a great fan of old time radio, and I think radios are a very efficient way of of teaching, of learning, of celebrating, of reporting, and podcasts are popular because the world agrees. Yeah, good. All right, uh, if you would like to hear a Vietnamese translation of my words, it is available. Go to the chat box of your Zoom client. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to tell people, are you aware that Zoom has updated a lot? Uh, I know we don't, we kind of let Zoom just do its thing, but if you go up into the left-hand corner of Zoom and click on, let's see here, if you go to, but there is a way to update your Zoom, and it's now currently, I'm probably going to get in trouble by doing this. Yeah, I'll have to let you know later, but do check, see if Zoom is updated. I just updated mine, and it brings new bug fixes and new features. If you would like to hear a Vietnamese translation, please go to the chat box and you'll find a link. Also, if you would like to be a Dharma requester, we'd love to have you do what Vera just did and to request Dharma, even if you're only able to use a single language, either English or Chinese, that would be perfectly fine. Alrighty, thank you Bernie, I'm back in Australia. Uh, let me translate what I just said briefly. Interpretation, your Chinese, okay. Here we go. Moving forward. We have updated our acknowledgement of country. I've found a new, I think, more elegant way of acknowledging country, and we'll have to translate it later into Chinese, but it goes like this. We respectfully acknowledge the Kumbumeri people of the Ugambi language region as traditional storytellers and custodians of the land on which our monastery is located. Or maybe the land where our monastery is located. We pay respects to elders past, present, and emerging into all First Nations people whose sovereignty was never ceded. Okay, I think we'll work with this one. Let's change that comma and the land where our monastery located. Something like that. 
All right. Save that one. Uh, acknowledgement of country is a very elegant way to uh, stand firmly on the wisdom traditions that have gone before. All righty, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. The bells sound wide resounds. Throughout a hundred million worlds, the Buddha's law is heard and spread. All throughout the triple world, the wondrous sounds that everywhere fill the Dharma realm with peace. May those who hear it gain the strength. To follow in faith the Buddha's path. Zhong Sheng Chuan San Chen Jie Nei Fo Fa Yang Wan Yi Guo Zhong Gong Xun Qi Fa Jie He Ping Li Yi Bao Tan Nuo Hou De. And that takes us to the end of our preliminaries.、Um, we, I want to bring you. Everyone, see Feng Mian. There we go. We're going to take everybody here to a website. Oop, not that way. One more time. Did I?、Mm, hope I didn't goof it up. Let's see. Try it again. All right. Oh, one more time. There we go. Put this into the chat right there. Everyone is welcome to find your way. To the chat, and there is a website that contains a bilingual resource for our lecture series today: pictorial biography of Master Xu Yun, the picture biography. It's available online, and it's really well done. It's nicely done. This is the landing page where you'll go. And when you get here, you need to go up to the right-hand corner. Hmm, interesting. The、uh, I could have a conversation with the designer of this page. Maybe Bo Zhi Dao, Nai Wei. Does any any of our sysops at the moment? Could it be maybe、mm, Yi Huan or maybe Y C or someone? Find out who is the major editor of this page, because I will be directing the attention of roughly a hundred people a week to this page, and there are definitely improvements that could be made to it. And I would like to to work with them to get rid of the typos and to suggest some restructuring of it. For example, if you don't speak Chinese, you're stuck. You have to know that you go to Mulu. Ah, there we are, right? So, I want all the English speakers to know: go to the upper right corner, where there should be a little word that says、mm, "contents," and that's where you get to where we want to be today. The other thing I could do would be to bring you to this page instead of the previous page. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Uh, is there a way to scratch something from the from the chat? I haven't learned that. Let me give you the second one. There you go. Okay, that's the one you want. To everyone, drbachinese.org, online readings, bio zero one. There we go. Beautifully laid out, very ambitious, nicely done. We're going to use it, but can be improved. Okay. Today we're going. Let's see. First, before we launch in, I want to say hello to everyone who is here, and welcome you all. I'm so glad that folks are interested in this lecture series, because our teachers, teacher, our grand teacher, if you have taken refuge in our tradition,、uh, is a remarkable man.、Um, perhaps after Master Shenzong, he may be. Master Shenzong and Master Hanshan, Duqing of the Ming Dynasty, he may be 
arguably the most celebrated Chinese Buddhist monk. Um, there are those who will tell you, and today's lecture will affirm, that he is an eight-stage bodhisattva, uh, a very rare being indeed. So our host, uh, Chen Yu, our translator, Cliff, our requester, Vera, our co-host, Yi Huan, welcome to all of you. Bill is in Cascade, Colorado. Brian's in Campbell, Katrina's in Danville, Celeste is in Hong Kong, Connie is here in Santa Clara, maybe, Sunnyvale. Gong is here, glad you're here, Gong, nice. Duke LeVan in Montreal, Edna is here. Elaine is in Round Rock, Texas, and Huawen is in Tracy. Uh, ha Hong is here, Alameda. Uh, Hong Nui from San Jose. Then we have Hu Feng, we have Guo, Guo Hua and Guo Jian. Jason is here. Jennifer is in Los Altos. Jenny is in Seattle. Jensen is in Jakarta. Jerry's in Fremont. Welcome, Jerry. Jin Yong Shi is with us. Welcome, Jin Yong Shi uh, from CTDB. Kane is in Switzerland. Catherine's in Ukiah. Kelly's in UK, but not for long. Is that right? Moving to the US. Uh, Kitty Sorrow's here from DRBU. So glad you're here. Delighted. The whole Lamb family is here from London. Lan is here, and Latinos Unidos, bienvenidos. Lauren from Grass Valley, Leone from CTDB, Zhang Li Hua. We didn't connect. Next time. Liz is here from New York City, Maggie from San Jose, Loy from Singapore. Welcome, Loy. Mai from San Jose, and Mai from the Bay Area. Matthew, the entire Lamb family is online. Goodness. Michael in St. Petersburg. I hope all is well down there with the tornadoes. Wow. Uh, let us know if, if not. Um, Win T. Win. Oh, that's Gojen. And then Petra is here from Oslo. Uh, Petra, we're going to ask, invite you to join the translation. I'll send you that link. Kui uh, Pham is here. Ron from San Jose. Sang Fu from Elk Grove. Shi and Sophie and Sue and Susan. Tan Kai from Singapore never misses a lecture. Uh, Tong and Trammy from Rosemead, Tina from Oklahoma, welcome Tina. Trammy and Tran and Val from San Francisco. Our translators, uh, DRBA, Yin Wan Bo, welcome, Yukaya. Willie from Virginia. Wu Xiaohua from Zhuhai. YC is here from Yukaya. Ying Zhen from Disneyland, really? Wow, and you're listening to Master Empty Cloud's biography. You could be doing, maybe we should have a, 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 a Mahayana monk what do they call them? Park inside of Disneyland? Display? Ride? A Shu Yun ride. You'd have to bow a lot. Can we design a Master Empty Cloud Disneyland ride? What would it include? Wow. Great idea. Okay, and now for the Chinese names, I'm afraid I won't be able to read them correctly. Okay, there we go. Thank you. That was fun. I'm glad you're all here. I appreciate your attention and your Jin Song, sure. Okay, Michael's okay. Yeah, boy, the weather. Oh my goodness. Mm. We are here today. Are you ready? I'm going to read it. Uh, I have prepared so I don't make goofy mistakes in the reading. I'm going to let all of those Chinese readers, let's see, how am I going to do this? We'll close the chat and pick this up there we go run this there okay so everybody can who wants to read the chinese can read the chinese if you don't mind <coughs> my broken pronunciation here we go sui ci gong shi qi yue sa ri yin shi yan shi fu ren chan qi yi zhi dan shang gong yan gong chu shi wei yi rou tuan Badipusa Fangyo Tsu Jing Jie Mu Hai Chietong 
，一味无复屈此望，既气拥死。翌日又卖药工，卖药翁访，水破至得南阴，气晕拱，胆盛至秦行。OK， wow， drama， 啊、uh, ， gonna put that away for now。Witnessing the birth of a bodhisattva into the world, the next year between three and five a.m. on the thirtieth day of the seventh lunar month, August twenty-sixth, eighteen forty, for all you astrologers out there, Mrs. Shaw went into labor and gave birth to the master. He entered the world in a call, a state had only by eight-stage bodhisattvas, which caused his mother alarm. Thinking that there was no hope of her ever bearing children again, she died in grief. The next day, the family was visited by an old medicine peddler who, upon opening the mass of flesh, removed a male child. These are the circumstances surrounding the birth of Master Yun. I didn't read Shifu's、uh, verse, which should go, "Lai ban wei lai sheng wu sheng." 都率内院降云宫，弥勒复住信佛法，释迦受记正宗风宗风啊、uh, ，one more time， 释迦受记正宗风。嗯 ，He came and yet didn't come. He was born and yet not born. From the court of Tushi to heaven, Master Yun descended. Instructed by Maitreya Bodhisattva to bring forth the Buddha's Dharma, Shakyamuni Buddha predicted that he would save the school's repute. Look at the picture. Here it is. Can we all see? Make it a little bigger, please. There we are. So, excitement, excitement. The father is being told that a child is born. And here he is, but to Master Empty Cloud's eternal sorrow, his coming was his mother's departure. She died in childbirth, but not from loss of blood or from、mm, uh, sepsis or the things that can afflict mothers in birth.、Uh, Infant mortality, but instead, she died of heartbreak because her son arrived in、uh, enclosed in entirely enclosed in a what's called a call c a u l. It's a bag of flesh that, if you don't know what's going on, you could think you gave birth to a monster. Uh, some sort of horror film depiction, but real, terrifying. If you don't know what's going on, she didn't, and she assumed that this child was stillborn, had failed, and that she was never going to give birth again. That was her assumption, and the grief was sufficient to kill her. She died, and the lessons. Take a look at the Chinese, at the English here. The lessons of this are: first of all, how could such a thing happen? Well, it does. And if there had not been, as the story goes, a an itinerant medicine peddler. Maybe somebody who spent a lot of time in the mountains gathering herbs、uh, could be a barefoot doctor, could be a、mm, paramedic,、um, somebody who had medical knowledge and and had some folk wisdom. Said, "Oh no, the, there's a child there," and so he opened the strange call. And sure enough, inside was a boy. <coughs> Is that monstrous?、Um, it's true. Happens. It's rare. And one of the lessons here is 
that there is a, f a Buddhist tradition that says when such a thing happens, it indicates the child has come through the womb but arrives purely without having uh, been through the very organic experience of childbirth. So from, a, from that point of view, from the Buddhist interpretation of what's going on, the child is pure, untainted by the physical experience of coming through the mother and with all of its attendant trauma for the child. And also, what do they say? Um, the reason why, there's a, a saying that goes, the reason why we don't remember our past lives is because coming through the womb and receiving a whole new set of skandhas, that is to say your physical body uh, with all its functions, the form aspect, the earth, air, fire, and water, the feelings and sensations, the thoughts, the processes, the autonomic processes, and the consciousness. If you come through your next rebirth in the world without having the shock of receiving a new body and your and the wipeout of old memories and kind of wiping the slate clean, you arrive fully in touch with what you knew from the past, it says. That's how the, the Buddhist interpretation of this could be. Uh, from a worldly point of view, it's like, ah, what just happened? Where's my baby? Instead, I've got this thing I've never heard about that I gave birth to. Poor mom couldn't take the shock and passed away. Another possible interpretation way to look at this is that, wow, not being able to deliver children if you're a Chinese wife, in a, tradition, a wife in a traditional Chinese family, basically you're going to be replaced by a concubine who can deliver children, a male child, ideally. Traditional China was distinctly misogynist in that way, as most traditional cultures were. The value is on male children. And if you are barren or if you, if the, inside the family, Madame Xiao gave birth to, a, to, we don't know what, a monster, you would have a hard time holding your head up in the future. She assumed that she just became a valueless member of the family, unable to give birth to children, and shock. And she, she chose, maybe subconsciously, do you choose to die? She died of grief. Her heart broke. So lots of ways to look at that. Okay, number, is that, is that the third principle or the... Uh, <laughs> All right. Maybe uh, fifth, fourth principle. Look at Scherfu's verse. He came and didn't come. He was born and he wasn't born. From the court of the Tushita heaven, Master Yun descended. Ah. Now, um, there is a story that when Master Empty Cloud was beaten to death by the thugs uh, after the takeover, after 1949, um, there was a period of real lawlessness while the communist government got organized. The struggle continued and bandits arrived at the monastery and beat Master Empty Cloud to death because he refused to give them what they thought was available to them, which was gold. They assumed that the monastery had lots of money, and he was a penniless monk. And 
So <laughs> he went to the Tushi to heaven from his body, from his broken, beaten body. And the story goes that Maitreya Bodhisattva said, you're not done, go back. I don't want to go back into that hundred some year old body. Nope, got to go back. You still have more work to do. So he came back from the Tushi to heaven yet again. Goes the story. We'll, we'll get there later. That's pretty much near the end of, <laughs> of a 120 year life. So here's the other clue that that story is Master Empty Clouds. Um, mm -hmm. Provenance, that's where he's from. From the court of the Tushi to heaven, he descended. Maitreya Bodhisattva said, go teach the Dharma. And the Buddha gave him a prediction that he would, the Chinese goes, uh, Chen, Tsong, Feng, he would shake up the wind of the school as it goes. In other words, Master Empty Cloud was the monk who was going to carry on the lineage of the Chan school or the Chinese Mahayana in general, they say. Okay, lots of lessons behind this sh shocking uh, medically rare event, tragic event, the mother's demise. Um, knowing that his mother died in childbirth um, was a formative experience in the consciousness of this young man. Don't you know? Yeah. Um, he spent a long time trying to make up for mm, killing his mother. That was the way he interpreted. And three steps, one bow pilgrimage was a result of that. Next one, please. Ooh, you know what? We need some music in between. That's a Shakaruni. People may be wondering what you're looking at. That is the main courtyard of the central campus here at Gold Coast Dharma Realm. This is a, a seven minute walk from where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, boy oh boy, beautiful. Ah, uh, let's see here. From, yeah, Master Empty Cloud was a Virgo, yep. Yeah. From Disneyland to Queensland, we can have a monk's kiosk here because there's a missionary umbrella stand at Disneyland. A missionary umbrella stand. I don't even know what that might be. Alrighty. But we can develop it. We're looking forward to uh, having a master empty cloud ride at CTTB. Uh, not Disneyland. <laughs> huh. Coming back to our, here we go. Hai ti shi qi, four second tones. Hai ti shi qi. Ready? Not quite. Nope. One more time. There we go. Um, how do we do this? Okay, let's all look. You have to put up with my, oh, one more time. Put up with my, a shorthand here. Number six, ready? Gong Shu Mu Wang Shi Fu Yu Qing Dao Guang Nian Nian Yi Sui 
见啊，是见长，游戏车亦具土，为菩萨相等拜之。读书课欲喜悦，佛经善书修身格言。有关身心性命之学，尤为好乐。四祖正功得天读后，复性非凡。游戏读书，路性天，好乐盛典，其偶然。于是以物真俗地，不二法门，愿贺旦。There it is, and English says, the master's stepmother, who was from the Wang family, took care of his upbringing. The twentieth year of the Dao Guang reign period in the Qing Dynasty, eighteen forty, was his first year. When he played during his childhood, he instinctively made bodhisattva images out of dirt and bowed to them. He was quite happy to peruse Buddhist sutras and works on morality, self-cultivation, and wise sayings. Studies concerning the moral conduct of body and mind specially interested him. His preternatural gifts were developed and subtle, not at all common. That's a typo. We need an, an at in there. Not at all common. The verse says, whether playing or reading books, in all he did, his character and inclinations were revealed. The pleasure he took in the sages' scriptures, how could it be by any Chance, just right here, he awakened to the actual and mundane truths. Thus, he vowed to undertake the non-dual Dharma door. All right. Yeah, mostly I think the translation of this text is excellent. Just really good. Anything that includes preternatural.、Um, Self-cultivation, a relatively little Buddhist jargon here, code language, but where it is, it pops up.、Uh, the non-dual Dharma door. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a hard one. Buar faman. Difficult to translate. So, in general, excellent translation. Here is what have we got? We've got. A baby, tiny baby, being fanned by a young girl, and stepmom,、uh, Mrs. Wang, right?、Uh, so the dad took another wife. She was kind. She didn't mind raising the child of a deceased wife. They're sitting in a beautiful mountainous environment. Tall ceilings, plantings. It looks like a beautiful home. There's incense in the air.、Um, you get the feeling of ease and care for the child. The qualities attributed to this young man.、Uh, we we had a conversation last week about hagiography. Hagiography, hagi. Is it a hard G or a soft G? How many people say hagiography? How many say hagiography? Probably both are okay. Anybody got a preference? It's writing about the lives of spiritual beings, and of course, you want your saint to appear extraordinary. That's why we follow them.、Um, <clears throat> There is a tradition whereby、uh, saints and sages, as ch children, are given extraordinary talents, unusual qualities, meaning not usual, rare, special. So here's a boy who, as a child, made bodhisattva images out of clay and bowed to them. He read Buddhist sutras, not comic books. He read books on morality, not novels. Self cultivation, didn't watch a lot of TV, and wise sayings. He didn't swipe left on social media. 
he was interested in moral conduct of body and mind. Um, uh, eating fei fan, as it says. Uh, what do they say? Fu xing fei fan. He was really extraordinary. So give it to him. Uh, I don't know different. Fu xing fei fan, right? So for, for me to, to take a postmodern, skeptical, cynical view and say, oh yeah, that's not appropriate. It's not necessary. Um, I think he may well have been just this extraordinary. Um, the, the point of writing about him this way is to say that his behavior in later life, and mind you, we have 120 years to go for. This is the first year of this man's existence. His later behavior was just extraordinary, uncommon, unusual, special in every way. So why would we assume that his start was, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, was just like everyone's? So, yeah, but as a scholar trained in study of as, let's say someone who loves the study of biography, extraordinary people, um, there is a pattern where when the person is not a great warrior, when he's not a great political leader, or he's not a, a, an author uh, like that, there's where there's no value in um, spiritual purity, then you wouldn't expect this. When the life, we're looking back and telling the story of, a, of someone to whom we all would bow gladly, uh, someone whose advice we would take immediately, someone who uh, we would take refuge with, we want from that person something extraordinary, something unusual. And that's how these stories are told. So uh, you can pick how you, how you interpret this. Um, he, so the master, master, hello there. We have a large black bird looking in the door here. So, um, in the third line of Master Hua's poem, he has Yu Si Yi Wu Zhen Su Di. We can see, he says, from this we can see, from his behavior as a child, always going to pure things, we can see that he had already awakened to ordinary truths and extraordinary truths. The, they say, Chu Shi and Ru Shi insights that lead into the world and insights that lead out of the world. Prajna paramita, the, the transcendent wisdom, right in the middle of ordinary wisdom, relative wisdom. So actual and mundane truths, um, duality and beyond duality. That's, this is already available to this young man here. So he was awakened to that. And he vowed to undertake the non-dual Dharma door. That is to say, uh, this, this line, key, so what it says is that at this, even as a child, it's clear that he's come on vows to protect the Dharma, to keep the Dharma going. And, gee whiz, um, he did it. He did it. Um, in the time when in the time during which the 19th century, he was born before the Civil War, our American Civil War, 10 years before, uh, 20 years before the Civil War broke out. Um, during that time, Buddhism was much degraded in China. It had been uh, a religious establishment in China for centuries and centuries and centuries and monasteries had come and gone and come and gone. What was in the Tang Dynasty a flourishing center with thousands of monks had fallen into ruin in many places. 
into that time comes Master Empty Cloud, and he would walk into a ruined temple with a storied, fabulous history, carrying a staff in his hand. And ten years later, he would walk away having completely rebuilt the monastery from top to bottom, returned it to a state of flourishing Dharma activity, and only by his virtue, by his vows. So the key word there is vowed. He came on vows to undertake the revitalizing of Buddhism in China. So, Master Empty Cloud, here we are in America. We're ready for you. <laughs> here we are in Australia. We're ready for you to, uh, in Australia, it's a case of we establishing. Uh, it's not revitalizing. It's just getting it set up to begin with. In America, same, same. Uh, people go, oh, are you those those ones that jump and ask for money in the airports? No, no, we're Buddhists. Oh, the peace guy. Oh, yeah, I got nothing against the peace guy. Yeah. Oh, you're. tell me about that. I, my wife's been meditating, you know, so... Yeah, so it's time for Master MP Cloud to return. Hey, hey. But we, taking a page from your book, we can't wait uh, for you. That is to say, we have to do our part. And if you come, we will be thrilled to follow you. Meanwhile, the music that I played at the start is our theme song for our series. I think I'll, I'll record it so I don't have to play it live every time. Every time I'm watching the clock ticking down and talking to the uh, co-chairs, of our, the co-hosts, getting set up. And then we, get, we tick over to 6 a.m., you're 1 a.m., uh, 1 p.m., and I start playing. I go... depending on how nimble my fingers are in the cold at 6 a.m., it sounds okay or doesn't. Lots of mistakes, lots of clink, clink, clink. And often my, um, my microphone setup might be, I might have forgotten to mute, or I might have muted by mistake, or I might have forgotten to put on the original sound, and it's goofy. So a solution for that is to pre-record and just hit a button and let you hear the same every time, not live. So I don't know if everybody appreciates how, uh, how many things can go wrong in playing live music to an audience of 86 people around the world. Kind of bold, kind of foolish, somebody might say. You get to hear all the ugliness, right? So that's what you're hearing. And it's this, it is on the screen. This is Master Empty Cloud's Enlightenment Poetry, two, two of them. The chorus that, you're, that you heard <clears throat> in Chinese is here on the screen. Here is the Hanzi, the pronunciation of those Hanzi right here, so you can sing along. <laughs> There's an example of what can go wrong. Let's do it again. Got 
another verse. Burn my hand, shattered my cup, broken for good my mind. Like my family, it's lost. People are gone, and words are hard to find. Chang Sheng Ming Li Li, Shi Kung Fan Sui Ye, Hong Xin Yang Xia Xi. Down at the bottom there. Here we go. Spring is here. The flowers breathe their fragrance to the sun. Mountains, rivers, the earth itself are just the dust come. That's how it goes. And it's actually been recorded uh, very satisfactorily with some actual musicians playing along. Um, and it's available to you on dharmaradio.org. I want to put that away for now. Uh, put that away for now. Go to here. I want to um, advertise my very own website, dharmaradio.org, right here. Mm. Take us there we go. Okay. And I'll pop that into the chat box again. I do want people to go take a look at dharmaradio.org. <clears throat> this is the main page. Um, it's now in Chinese. You can click on the English button and it becomes English just like that. Okay. Uh, if you click on that link and it comes up in Chinese, find the English button and click on it. Here is the website and it's got various components um, podcasts Chan Chronicles music in the Dharma by yours truly and good karma music we're gonna click on good karma music and it works like this this is a way to give you some Buddhist music in exchange for a good deed do a good deed share it with us and we send you your pick of spiritual music including three songs by father cyprian concilio of the new kamaldali buddhist uh, benedictine catholic roman catholic hermitage spirit in the cave of the heart the light that never dies brian conroy's stories beautifully done uh, paramita uh, buddhist stories for awakening and Dharma Radio, the CD project, the music project. And there is one on the way called Urban Lotus, soon to be revealed. Here's what you do. Do a good deed, however you describe it. Put your name there, where you're from, what was your good deed. Add one plus one, submit your post, and you get to pick uh, an album. Let's see the latest here. My family and I recently donated clothes, supplies, and toys to a donation center. Instead of throwing away items still usable, we wanted to donate them. They can be reused by somebody else while reducing waste that ends up in landfills. Well done. Absolutely right on. We want you to enjoy some Buddhist and Catholic spiritual music as a reward. Well done. Excellent. Okay. And take, check it out here. Click on the drum one and go to Shan Ye In Yu. 
Shan Ye in Yue. And if you go down, there are stories in Chinese. Look at that. Okay, Hai Ning, Zhe Jiang, Xia Ban Ho, Ba Da Ting, Jiao Shi, Xi Shou Jian Deng, La Ji Tong Li De, La Ji Dou Shou Ji Dao Yi Qi, La Ji Dai Ke Yi Zai Chong Fu Li Yong, Zhen Xi Zi Yuan, Jiao Suan Shi Yi Zhang Zhi, Ye Yao Ren Zhen Bao Hu Ta, Ah, Shan Zai, Shan Zai. Well done, well done. The title is uh, Cherishing Material, Saving Stuff. Well done. Ah, Buto, ah, Shan Dai. Xi Wang Ni Shou Dao Ni So Shen Zi Da Chiga Shan Ye Yin Yue. Raho Na Jiu Gan Peng Yo Yi Qi Fan Xiang. Okay. There we go. Just to let you know that that's there, that resource, and we would love to have your story. We would love to have you enjoy the music, give it to friends, let them know that <coughs> we need more good deeds in the world. Indeed, we do. All righty. Uh, let's see here. Um, tomorrow, no, today is, let's see, today is Saturday. Yes, tomorrow at 7.30 p.m., in California, that would make it, is it, are we on the, let me check, I'll check my time buddy here, uh, 7.30 p.m. in the Gold Coast, okay, we are at 12.30, 12.30 noon here in the Gold Coast on Sunday, that would make it 10.30 a.m. in China and Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, there is a sutra lecture, the Avatamsaka Sutra, Da Fang Guang Fu Hua Yan Jing. Um, we hope you'll be able to join us either on um, the Dharma Realm Live YouTube channel or uh, Cliff, could you, do you, can you paste in how into the chat how people can find, is there a link? that people can find the Zoom if you want to listen to the translation. We have, uh, there we go, we have a translation. There it is. Okay. Dharma, that's YouTube. We need the, for those who can't get to YouTube, there's another link, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we have translations into Chinese and into Vietnamese. And we're hearing where we are in the sutra is the Buddha is praising bodhisattvas, t talking about what they do. And it's the most uh, extensive and just, um, what do you say, Overwhel <coughs> Excuse me. overwhelmingly um, extensive, marvelous description of what bodhisattvas do. It's just amazing how the Buddha praises bodhisattvas. Okay. Indeed, let us now uh, conclude today's, there it is, okay, thank you, Cliff. Yeah, 好, uh, 那就是明天, 明天, uh, 我们这里是早上, uh, 这个, 如果中国, 台湾, 香港, 就早上十点半, 我们这里, 澳大利亚是十二点半, uh, 美国是晚上七点半, uh, okay, 然后呢, 有中文翻译, 有越文翻译, there's the meeting ID. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Kitty Sorrow. Uh, we're going to dedicate merit and invite you, please, to join. Um, I actually have... I'm going to go get my 12-string guitar. Don't move. Don't you step away from that radio. Keep recording. <laughs> that was easy. Gee, that wasn't hard at all. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have the guitar that I actually recorded the dedication of merit with. Usually we do it on a banjo, but since I've got the 12 string right here, why not? Please make a wish. Send out all your good wishes to the world for making it a better place. It is indeed from good wishes that the world is made new and improved. Here we go. Um... 
hearts of goodness will be glorious and bright. If people hear and see, our hands and hearts can find giving unity. May our minds away to great compassion, wisdom, and to joy. Kindness find reward. May all who sorrow be their companion. May this boundless light dispel the darkness of our endless night. Because our hearts are one, this world of Before we go, we will bow. If you'd care to join me, here we go. We bow three times to the Buddha. Second bow. And third bow. Bow in respect to the Venerable Master. All right, that's going to do it for us for today. Um, if the folks could stick around just a little bit later. All right, thank you all so much. See you all next week. Amitofo. Be well.